Brady and Patrick Mahomes, right? And, I, and no matter what he was saying to me, I, and no matter what RFG was saying, I got to give that brother his props. Respect to you, brother. No matter what you were saying, I kept saying, like, nah. Because, like, they, it's, it's something else. I kept saying it's something else. But then I, but after he broke it all down and I looked at that fucking football game, yes. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised, like he said, if Tom Brady wasn't made in a fucking lab somewhere. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. If he wasn't made up in some fucking lab, strapped up together, I'm telling y'all, I wouldn't be fucking surprised, man. I'm, I'm just telling you, I would not be fucking surprised. That shit there was, that was, listen, I have watched plenty of football games. I have watched many of motherfucking Super Bowls. I didn't have a horse in the race in either one of those teams to win. I just wanted to watch a football, a good football game. I fucking turned the game. I said, you gotta be, I said, this is fucking blatant. Any motherfucker body that no football and no offense understand that that game was easy to fucking win easy to win and all of a sudden Kansas City made the game 10 times motherfucking hard to beat 10 times hard to beat why man all these motherfuckers got paid yo this shit it is what it is my people I just wanted to you know run my mouth about that while I'm driving home it's black ice out here so I gotta drive slow I just wanted to talk to my brothers in regard to that, to that, you know, to that, to that, that game. Like, you know, go look at RFG channel. And I mean, go look at, he, he did a breakdown on that. I give him respect on that. He, he, he no matter how much I was doubting, I, I heard everything he said and I took all that shit in. And I, as, as I, as the game was playing, all I heard was him, his motherfucking voice stating that this shit was all about Tom Brady. That's it. That's all the fuck I heard. So I was like, damn. I said he fucking right. I didn't get mad because he was right. I just was like, damn. Like, and, and the fact that they so blatant with this shit now. Like, they literally are blatant with this shit now. Literally. Like, <laughs> and then you know what's so funny? The sports analysts, right? Um, Steve Young, those that watch this watch sports, I'm, telling, I'm, I'm not going to go all day about this, but I got to talk about this shit because it, the only reason why I'm talking about it because it was so fucking blatant. I mean, Dennis, this shit was, listen to me, this was blatant, my people. This was a fucking blatant giveaway fucking game. And anybody that had any sort of IQ about a fucking football game would have known conceit that that fucking game was clearly giving the fuck away. Giving away. Giving the fuck away. From the referees all the way the fuck down the top. Yo, that game. <laughs> the, even the fucking Steve Young was like, why didn't they just adjust and start throwing short passes and work their way down the field or run the ball? I mean, they did that plenty of times before. And then, they, then, they, then, they, then they, and that, all the motherfucking sports announcers start talking about something else. Because that shit was so blatant, people. When I tell you it was so blatant, a third grader, uh, literally a fucking third grader, could have, with, with that Kansas City offense, a third grader could have figured out how to beat motherfucking Tampa Bay. A third grader could have figured this shit out. This is how, this is how fucking, my, how fucking, how blatant this shit was, my people. I'm not giving Kansas City his props just to give it to him. I, I watch football. You understand? I understand you have to have a, a fucking, you have to have three phases of the game on point. And they got three phases of their offensive game on motherfucking point, and you can't stop it. They can adjust at any time in a fucking football game, and brothers know the fucking truth, man. That shit was blatant, cuz. All they kept trying to do was throw the ball deep. What the fuck, bro? It wasn't working. How you not how you not say, yo, they just want to take away the deep pass. So let's dink and dunk and work our way down the fucking football field. You did that in every playoff game. All of a sudden you get to this fucking game. Matter of fact, you just didn't do it every playoff game. Listen to me, my people. They just didn't do it every playoff game. Motherfuckers was doing it every game of the season because they didn't want it. They said, fuck it, you gonna beat me, you just not gonna have highlight reels on me. That's what teams were saying. You gonna beat me, but you're not gonna have motherfucking this nigga five, five foot, five, five foot, five two, 
running feet fast as shit, ain't even touching a motherfucking ground, catching passes and shit all up. You're not going to do that. Every team said that. So what did they do? They took the short th and they still blew them the fuck out. So how did they get to this team and all of a sudden forget how to play football? Come on, man. And, and I, I've never spoke about any of these games and, and, and any since, since I've been fully aware of this shit. I've never spoke about any of these games, my people. I just wanted to sit back and sit. I'm at work. My client is chilling. I was like, you know what? I just want to watch a good game. That's it. The fucking game was so blatantly. I said, you got to be kidding. I said, you know what? Let me. I said, you know what? Let me watch this. Let me watch another five more minutes of this shit. And when I saw that shit, Tom Brady looked like he was motherfucking 21 outside. At 21 out there. And look at his games all fucking season long. He looked like he was 21 out there. Get the fuck out of here, people. <laughs> this shit is bullshit, man. It's bullshit. And, I, and, I, and it was just, ah, oh, that was both some bullshit. I just wanted to bring that. I just wanted to talk to my brothers. You can go on YouTube. Go look at the, I don't, I don't mind shouting out any brother or sister that's telling the truth and breaking this shit down and showing our people how blatant, how dumb this shit is, how foolish this shit is. I don't have no problem at all. You know what I mean? This shit right here was blatant and it was outright fucking disgraceful. Seriously. Disgraceful. And as a, and, 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 and you know what? <laughs> if I was a 3D motherfucking fan, I would be totally the fuck upset. If I was a, I would be completely the fuck upset. And I promise, you can. I promise you can go on probably Kansas City news station right now and just listen to the fans that know football and say, "What type of shit was that? <laughs> what type of shit was that? That was some blatant ass bullshit." But it's cool, my people. I just wanted to speak about that. I'm on my way home. I value y'all, my people, you don't understand. Again, I want to give a special love and shout out to Brother Lord Armstrong and his family. Congratulations on his, his, his star seed coming into this coming into this world, you know. And any other brother and sister that is expecting or just or recently have a child, you know, I, I just want to say congratulations. You know, children are very beautiful, are very, very amazing. And you get, you don't understand how the universe look at you when you how the universe look at you when it comes to the way you view children i'm telling you and the way that you you i'm telling you you don't understand how the universe look at you when it comes to way whether it's your immediate child or whether it's another child the universe really looks at you when you really genuinely care for the children i'm not saying i care for adults but children you know they play a very very vital role in all the shit that's taking place on this motherfucking planet my people children understand that I sincerely love y'all. I sincerely value you all. I hope that you all have a great rest of your night. Um, as our vessels rest, may we meet up in the cosmos through the electric slide, speed up the process to remove all darkness on this planet and to shed nothing but light. I sincerely love you, my people. Y'all have a great rest of your night.